I want to talk about something that we all have to understand. And if we continue to not understand this, we are going to continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. And that is not good for anyone. If you have a problem or problems and you want to get rid of them, the way to get rid of them is by encountering them. What do I mean? Let's say that you have an anger issue. A person may say, hey, the only way to get rid of that anger issue is by avoiding situations that are going to make you angry. Now, that may sound right, but that is not right. The only way to get rid of that anger issue is by being in situations that are going to make you angry, but resisting your anger. When you resist, that is going to make you stronger. Does that make any sense? Let's say that you have a lust issue and a person may say, hey, what you have to do is don't go around any woman or man. So stay away from all women and men or men. And how is that possible? Unless you go out in the country and grow your own food and make your own clothes and stuff like that. I don't see how that is possible. The only way to get rid of your lust issue is by resisting it. The old fashioned way. Resist. Resist the devil and he shall flee. <laughs> you have to resist. Don't avoid. Resist. Well, let me say this. When you avoid your issues, that is going to make it worse. For instance, when you try to cope with your issues, like there are some people with depression. And what they may do is cope with it by drinking or sleeping with many people and doing this and that and this and that. And what is going to happen, that is going to make issues worse and you are going to develop much more issues. So when you avoid your issues or try to cope with your issues or avoid slash cope, that is going to make things a lot worse. So you need to take your issues head on. Like, hey, I understand that I have this issue here, that issue there, and I am going to do what it takes to get rid of this issue. Because I know, and now you know, that coping with an issue is going to make it worse. Like for instance, I am the type of person that, well, I don't really like to deal with people that's going to cause me a lot of problems. But at the same time, I want to get people to serve God. So how can I be a person that want to get people to serve God, but at the same time, I don't want to be around people that is going to cause me problems. So that tells me that I need tougher skin. So overall, that says to you, hey, you may have a patience issue. So there's a certain way I wanted to say that. <laughs> so you can say that I have a patience issue. So, there is no way that I can get as many people or more people to serve God unless I fix that patience issue. So, yes. So, in order for me to get rid of that patience issue, what do I have to do? I have to be in situations that is going to test my patience. 
So in order for me to get more patients, to get more people saved and stuff like that, I need to be placed in situations that's going to test my patience. And believe me, I have been in situations <laughs> that have tested my patience big time. Crazy. So we all have issues that we need fixed, including myself, patients, and some other things. So what I am trying to say that the only way that we can get rid of these issues, we need to face our problems head on even when we don't want to because sometimes it may seem like it is much more easier to let things be as they are and just living life the way that you always have and let as I said before that is not good that is not good so really take heed to this really really take this to heart get yeah, right here to heart <laughs> really take it to heart god bless